For those of you that don't know Sky Does Minecraft, this man has literally created the Minecraft community. Hey guys, Sky here. In this episode of Mind Pranks, we go after YouTube Hunger Games champion. Andrew. My last video on Sky Does Minecraft. Dad, Get away from me. Are you stupid? <laughs> I just jumped into that. It's time for me to do a restart, y'all. And if you guys want to come along with me on the restart, then please do. It would be great to have you. Hey everybody, what's going on? We're back. We caught... <laughs> I'm Adam, and I'll see you later, recruits. There are few on the YouTube platform who have had their content creation journey paved with as much controversy as Skyder's Minecraft. He was once the second most subscribed gaming YouTuber with only PewDiePie standing in the way of the top spot. However, Sky Does Minecraft, aka Adam Dahlberg, has descended the YouTube hierarchy over the previous few years, ending up as a creator barely able to pull 50,000 views per video. How could a downfall like this possibly happen to someone who was once considered a king in the gaming genre? Was it the fact that his main game, Minecraft, just slowly dropped in popularity over time? And Minecraft in general was just becoming a dying thing. Or was it something more profound, such as the derailing of his self-esteem following multiple mental breakdowns and failed relationships? I just don't get it. I just, I, I just want my, I want to see my son. I want the rumors to stop. I want the f to stop. Guys, I can't like hide it anymore. Pretend that it doesn't exist anymore. I'm, I have depression. Like, I have really bad depression. Strap yourselves in, boys. You are going to need a seatbelt for this absolute train wreck of a story that we're about to look into. Our story begins in the late noughties, when a very unknown to the world Adam Dahlberg began a YouTube channel by the name of Jin the Demon on the 20th of January 2008. Adam's intention with this original channel was to begin posting videos on the popular game RuneScape. While the original channel was created in January 2008, the first video wouldn't be uploaded onto the channel until one year four months later in May 2009, when Adam would upload the video titled For to Lulz Woodcutting Noob. Hello. How can I help you? You see, my brother is dying. He has fat, smelly, walrus, cornflakes disease. This video turned out to become the beginning episode to a series that would later become to known as For Talol series. There were two main characters within this series called Tuna Guy and Salmon Guy. I haven't sold any tuna lately. Could really sell some right now. Running low on funds. I better call up my brother Salmon Guy. These two specific characters were played by Adam's RuneScape character, who had the name Sky the Kid RS, which is actually an account that he had made for his sister and then took over at a later date. These early videos, amongst other videos, would begin to spark Adam's interest for messing around on camera and making silly videos for entertainment purposes. Your mama is like to own teleport. I use it for free. Every 30 minutes. Sky the Kid would continue to post various comedy videos on the Jin the Demon channel until he began uploading RSMVs or RuneScape music videos in June 2009. Sky the Kid then started to brand himself on this original channel as a quote RSMV maker and comedian, which is the video style that he began to excel at during his early days on YouTube. Sky went from 182 subscribers in June 2009 to 1,570 subscribers in February 2010. February 2010 also happened to be the same month when Sky would enter a contest hosted by Machinima, challenging creators to submit their funniest RuneScape video. Sky entered this competition with a video titled Extreme Farming, posted on the 6th of February 2010. Sky actually won the competition, which provided him with extra publicity, as you can see from people on his channel congratulating him on the win. This was also a good indication that he was a talented content creator from the beginning, well before he blew up on the platform, which we'll get to later. This early channel also provides an insight into who Adam Dahlberg was in the beginning of his YouTube career. His subscribers learned that he was born in 1993 and lived in Bellevue near Seattle. On top of this, his subscribers also learned about his inspirations for beginning content creation. Sky stated that longtime RuneScape content creator Chisel inspired him to start making content and quote, wouldn't have started making videos without him. I started originally making videos of my own because there was a YouTuber in particular and I remember him very well. He went by the name of Chisel. He really inspired me to make videos myself. Sky continued to make RuneScape videos throughout 2010 and well into 2011. By the 11th of November 2011, Jin the Demon, Sky's original RuneScape channel, was up to 11,127 subscribers, approximately 2.5 years after originally starting to post content. On top of Sky's impressive subscriber count, there were a few other things that were added to the channel in late 2011 that were integral to the story. 
Sky stated in the interest section of his channel that he was interested in RuneScape as well as a new game that had recently started to rise in popularity called Minecraft. Looking back, the reason that he had put Minecraft in his interests was because in February 2011, Sky had started a new YouTube channel by the name of Sky Does Minecraft. To notify everyone of this new channel, a video was uploaded on Jin the Demon called Sky the Kid's Minecraft Channel, where Sky notified his viewers that he'd been posting daily Minecraft content on an alternative channel. Looking back, this makes sense because, as we can see, Jin the Demon only had 5 uploads in 8 months leading up to the post, with the low upload quantity correlating perfectly with the creation of Sky Does Minecraft in early 2011, which might have been an indicator that Sky was more interested in posting Minecraft content on his new channel rather than RuneScape on the Jin the Demon channel. Sky began this new Minecraft channel with a video called Sky Does Minecraft Episode 1, which kickstarted Sky's first Minecraft series. Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Sky Does Minecraft. A lot of people are telling me, hey Sky, you should uh you should do Minecraft. So I bought it. Let's play. Sky's skin combination began as a replica of his notable RuneScape look, being the agile top and bottom. Um, a little shout out to RuneTube for making my back my uh, little Sky the Kid. This video series helped Sky to polish up his Let's Play entertainment and editing skills to a point where he began to gain subscribers on the channel. By the time Sky had uploaded his 16th episode in the Sky Does Minecraft series in June 2011, he was already at 3,300 subscribers. A lot of the channel comments at the time refer to his RuneScape videos, so it's likely that a lot of these subscribers had come over from his original Jin the Demon RuneScape channel, which showed that his original RuneScape channel wasn't just a waste of time, it was helping him with the growth of the new channel. As the game itself, Minecraft, began to rise in popularity, the audience on YouTube began to increase with it, and Sky began to ride the wave of the newfound popularity in the game he was making videos on. However, the amount of creators making Minecraft content on YouTube forced Sky to create a gimmick that would eventually differentiate himself from the other creators on the site. Sky began to call Gold Bars Butter in the video More Butter in December 2011. Your house needs salted butter. Take the butter! This would create a form of inside joke with his fans, strengthening the creator-fan relationship further. This video, More Butter, was recorded with his girlfriend and fellow YouTuber at the time, Dawnables, or Dawn for short. Sky would go on to get engaged to Dawn at a later date, however the relationship would ultimately end before marriage, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Sky continued to post Minecraft from 2011 all the way up until April 2012 when he posted his 100th video, a challenge video attempting all of the viral challenges like the Cinnamon Challenge, the Warhead Challenge, etc. This was Sky Does Minecraft's first IRL video on the channel. By this point, April 2012, Sky was all already up to 14,000 subscribers, so it was an excellent opportunity to create a further relationship with his viewers by showing them what he looked like in real life. This video performed quite well at the time, gaining over 5,000 views in the first week, more than what he had been receiving on the Minecraft uploads that had been uploaded for a similar amount of time. However, once this IRL video was posted, it was right back to the bread and butter for Sky Does Minecraft, as he continued to post episodes for his Minecraft series once again. This would prove to be an excellent choice, given that around mid-2012 is when his Minecraft videos really started to take off. Sky went from 14,000 subscribers in April 2012 to 22,000 subscribers in July 2012. 8,000 subscribers in 3 months, pretty solid effort for Sky, right? Well, this was only the beginning. In July 2012, an absolute nuke went off on Sky's channel, going from 22,000 subscribers in July 2012 to 200,000 subscribers by the end of August, only one month later. Sky uploaded a 100,000 subscriber video on the 7th of August 2012, which was a compilation of other big YouTubers that the time congratulating Sky on reaching 100,000 subs. Hey guys, Sky here, and I want to thank you all for 100,000 subscribers. That is a huge deal for me. However, 100,000 subscribers was just the start of the growth. Two months later, in October 2012, Sky Does Minecraft was at 350,000 subscribers, and only two months after that, in December 2012, he was at 600,000 subscribers. The growth quite literally would not slow down for Sky. He was posting Minecraft left, right, and center, and the fans could not get enough. Sky's fans loved his videos because his video ideas were way more creative than any other creator at the time. On top of this, he had a light-hearted, goofy personality and would make immature, often childish jokes during his videos, which his younger audience at the time could relate to. A prime example of this is Sky's Mind Prank series beginning in September 2012, where he would constantly grief and prank his girlfriend Dawn as well as other Minecraft creators for a laugh. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Why would you do that? 
Because it's pretty- look, I just did some home improvements. That clip basically gives you a perfect idea of what Sky was like in his videos, and the audience loved it. In fact, the audience loved it so much that after 600,000 subscribers in December 2012, he hit 1 million only one month later in January 2013. Sky uploaded a video thanking his followers for such a crazy milestone, stating that he never thought he would hit 1 million. I just want to thank each and every one of you for 1 million subscribers. However, hitting 1 million subscribers in January was really only the tip of the iceberg for how crazy 2013 would be for Sky Does Minecraft. 2 million, 3 million, 5 million, 7 million. The opportunity to sing and be on the panel at Minecon 2013. Sky Does Minecraft? Hi. In early 2013, with 1 million subscribers, he was the 142nd most subscribed channel on YouTube. By mid-2013, he was the 58th most subscribed channel on YouTube, and by the end of 2013, he was the 20th most subscribed channel on YouTube with 7 million subscribers. He was gaining 100 to 150 million views per month, likely earning him anywhere from 150 to 300,000 per month in ad revenue alone. The videos were being pumped out daily, each easily gaining over 1 million views, with many gaining over 10 million views, such as the Cops and Robbers series created with Team Crafted. Seems like absolutely nothing could go wrong for Sky at the time. He had the world at his fingertips. However, this wasn't the case. Something did go wrong for Sky. Sky and Dawn ended their relationship while engaged to each other in June 2013 for undisclosed reasons. Sky later opened up about their relationship, saying that he had paid Dawn $25,000 and bought her a car to stay in the relationship with him. Because he quote, didn't want the money to go away, assumably meaning that he needed her in his videos to continue getting views. Now, I'm just gonna go out full 100% clarity. I did Don Dirty. I was a, I was a stupid kid who was receiving a lot of money and I didn't want the money to go away. I paid her 25 grand, I gave her a car, and I basically had her delete her social media. Sky also roughly outlined that Dawn and Sky shared different goals which caused them to fight a lot. We would scream at each other, we would yell at each other, because we were two people who had goals and ideas of what we wanted to do with our lives. Sometimes they wouldn't match up, sometimes we'd yell, sometimes we'd scream. It was a relationship. Dawn stated that the relationship ended because it wasn't working out, but that seems self-evident if Sky was paying her money just to stay in the relationship with him. However, the breakup didn't appear to reduce the full steam ahead attitude that Sky had at the time. This was displayed clearly as Sky continued to upload videos throughout 2013 and into 2014 with very minimal slowdown in mid-2013. As mentioned previously, the growth continued into late 2013 and well into 2014. However, before we go into the growth of 2014, we should mention something else that happened in Sky's personal life. Following the breakup with Dawn in 2013, Sky began dating high school friend and later YouTuber Elisa in early 2014. Sky had stated at the time that he believed that they ended up being a perfect couple for each other, which is something to remember for when we get into the downfall part of the video. We wound up being like a, like a perfect match for each other. Because um, we're like the same. So let's do a little timeline check. It's early 2014. Sky's begun dating Elisa, he's at 7 million subs and is the most popular Minecraft YouTuber on the whole platform. Sky then hit 9 million subscribers in March 2014, uploading a thank you video which perfectly displayed how much his life had changed after blowing up on YouTube. I, I used to work at Subway to now like, I'm entertaining people for a living and that's, that's, a, that's an insane thing to think about. And, and as, as well, like you guys have also helped me emotionally and and stability wise, you guys have done so much to help me. Like Sky continued to post Minecraft content all the way throughout 2014, finishing the year just shy of 11 million subscribers in December 2014. At this point, Sky Does Minecraft was the second most subscribed gaming channel behind only PewDiePie. By the end of 2014, he also peaked as the 11th most subscribed channel on all of YouTube. And naturally, the end of 2014 would bring us to examine the year of 2015. On the 3rd of February 2015, Sky announced that he would be getting married as well as having a child with his then girlfriend Alyssa. Two months later, Alyssa would upload a video on her channel, Serious Nonsense, titled Baby Gender Reveal, where Alyssa revealed that Sky and her were having a baby boy. We're having a boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Following these announcements, Sky continued to post Minecraft and grow steadily in subscribers, not nearly as much as 2013 and 2014, but still by a pretty reasonable figure, going from 11 million subscribers when Sky announced he was becoming a father, to 11.5 million subscribers in September 2015 when the baby was born. Alyssa and Sky welcomed Mason Dahlberg on the 3rd of September 2015. At this point, everything seemed to be going perfect for Sky Does Minecraft. Again, it almost seemed like nothing could possibly go wrong. Then 2016 came around, which is when the downfall really started to begin for Sky Does Minecraft. By 2016, signs started to pop up here and there indicating that Sky wasn't as interested in Minecraft as he might have been previously. He'd been playing it for almost five years, so it makes sense as to why he might be feeling a bit burnt out by 2016. This began to reflect in the content on the channel, with many saying that the content was looking tired and didn't feel the same as it used to, possibly due to a change in the YouTube landscape as well as a decline in the popularity of the game. By mid-2016, Sky reached 12 million subscribers. I mean, 12 million recruits is just... A number I never thought I would ever hit, ever. But it was clear that he wasn't really enjoying making the content anymore. This was then reflected when on the 30th of June 2016, only 27 days after hitting 12 million subscribers, Sky tweeted that he would be quitting Sky Does Minecraft. This tweet was an absolute shock for the community. The number one Minecraft channel on YouTube would no longer be posting Minecraft anymore. Following this announcement that Sky was leaving YouTube, the channel went from 12.12 million subscribers to 12.01 million subscribers, a drop of 110,000 subscribers over the course of four days. Sky then uploaded the video titled Let's Get Serious for a Minute one month later in July 2016, where he announced that he would no longer be censored and would begin swearing again on the channel. I'm going to start swearing again in my commentaries and in my, my videos. While Sky might have seen this from his perspective as him being more real with his fans, it really just came off as Sky wasn't willing to put in the effort to appeal to his target audience anymore, children. Sky seemed to disregard the fact that being uncensored would make his content really only appeal to an older audience. And this was never really going to work, considering there wasn't much of an older audience watching Minecraft. In mid-2016, it seems as though Sky just decided to throw out everything he had learnt over the last five years in exchange for being himself on camera. A move that might have been comfortable for Sky, but would ultimately become increasingly questionable as Sky's subscriber count would continue to drop. Despite tweeting about quitting Minecraft in 2016 and losing subscribers, Sky didn't stop posting Minecraft content. There was no slowdown seen anywhere. However, the damage was already done. Loads of his subscribers were suddenly aware that Adam didn't really enjoy making the content anymore, and it started to harm the goodwill of the channel. The views began to drop. There's something weird that seems to happen with YouTube channels. When the original creator clearly doesn't enjoy making videos as much as they used to, it kind of comes off as fake and that the content creator is just continuing the videos for the views. It's a hard phenomena to explain, but I'm sure all of you yourself have felt it. When a content creator you've watched suddenly announces that they don't actually enjoy making the content anymore, suddenly you have way less desire to watch. Well, this reflected very heavily for Sky. In May 2016, just before the announcement, it was rare for Sky to get under 1 million views on the video. But by September 2016, only four months later, Sky was barely averaging 300,000 views per video, a drop of around 70%. It seemed as though Sky's channel started to regress as quickly as it rose to fame in the first place. After Sky's subscribers initially dropped from 12.12 to 12.01, they slowly grew again, hitting 12.09 in September 2016. However, this 12.09 number would become infamous, considering it was the highest he would get to before beginning to rapidly decline in subscribers subscribers every month up until this day. But let's go back to Sky as a person. There was an observable change in the personality of Sky throughout 2016. He went from this super happy, encouraging, high self-esteem dude with the world at his fingertips to an internet sad boy who seemingly needed his audience to validate his mopey feelings all the time. There was always something depressing in his updates. One video sticks out to me in particular, titled Let's Talk About Some Things, posted in November 2016. The first half of the video is just Sky complaining about how hard his life is. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I've been going through a kind of a rough time recently. I've been not the happiest that I could be. I and mean, it's ironic because I try to preach, you know, happiness and well-being all the time, but uh, I've been going through a lot. And then the second half of the video is Sky bragging about how wealthy he's become because of YouTube and then playing it off as, I'm just being real with you guys. I didn't want to hide anything. It bothers me that a lot of the time YouTubers are not transparent with the fact that they are 
wealthy. I've been able to help a lot of people. I've been able to financially support a lot of people. It's almost like Sky went full boogie mode and just started hosting his own YouTube pity party from 2016. His audience wanted someone they could look up to, not a guy who's complaining about how hard his life is and humble bragging about how much money he has. He was trying to come off as real, but it just came off as low status behavior and serious approval seeking. Again, it's hard to explain for this video, but the vibe was just off. It wasn't the same as it used to be. Perhaps it was the fact that he introduced so much of the business aspect and his personal life into the videos, as well as constantly talking about his team who was helping him make his videos, as well as who he had employed, etc. That's why I started Sky Media in the first place. We, we, because of you guys, we now have several people who are employed and have jobs and are doing what they love doing for a living as well. It seemed as though the old Sky Does Minecraft just having a good time playing games and uploading stuff had turned into this corporate Adam Dahlberg who had a team trying to pump out as much content as possible for as much growth as possible. A lot of the fun aspect had fallen out of his content. My content is changing. My personality I can feel shifting. I think that's just a natural thing that happens with growth. And it's understandable that Sky wanted to be more real with his fans, but it's questionable as to whether this was a good idea or not, considering his views and subscribers would only continue to drop from here. Then 2017 came around. 2017 will be an amazing year on my channel. Which as a year was very similar to the fantastic year he had in 2013. However, in the opposite way. Like 2013 being the craziest year for Sky in a positive way, 2017 was the craziest year for Sky in a negative way. All I care about is my goddamn son because that's the whole reason I did this. The year began with Sky uploading a video called We Don't Talk Anymore, where he announced that he and Alyssa were no longer together, later announcing that it was because she had cheated on him. I know that it's no secret anymore that me and Alyssa have separated, and you know, along with that, we have a kid, so there's a lot of things happening on the personal end of the spectrum that makes things a little bit difficult. Obviously, this was a problem and likely took a toll on Sky's personal life, which would ultimately reflect in the personality portrayed within his videos. Sky then uploaded the video titled Important on the 20th of January 2017, explaining that he would be going away for six weeks and someone else would be posting content for him on the channel. I'm probably going to be putting videos down to like three videos a week while I'm gone. Um, I'm going to be gone for six weeks. So hopefully, you know, you guys will wait for me until I get back. This video, like his previous update videos, began with talking about how depressed he was and how hard his life was. That just kind of like, I'm depressed all the time. Again, signing off the video with how he wanted to be real with his audience about what was going on. This time I kind of just want to be completely honest with you guys, because, I mean, I feel like that's rare nowadays in the YouTube scene. But looking back, it seems as though he was just digging his own grave. His audience didn't care about how depressed he was. It's a burden to know about that. It's uncomfortable to have someone tell you how depressed they are, and the goal of YouTube is to make your audience feel comfortable, not uncomfortable. This was just another nail in the coffin for Sky. He was continually distancing himself from his audience by burdening them with private details of his mental health and personality, which reflected in his subscriber and view count given that they would only continue to fall from here. Sky then got back with Alyssa in March 2017. However, only three months later, in June 2017, Sky found out that Alyssa had been cheating on him again. The details are murky and nothing is confirmed, but it appears as though it was with seven different people, five YouTubers and two friends. How many YouTubers did she try to hook up with when you were together? YouTubers or five. How many yeah. friends? So there's literally seven people. Following this, it almost seemed as though Sky was going insane. He began talking about giving his channel away and laughed about it, then posted a tweet on the 30th of June announcing that he would be deleting his channel. This was then followed by a video announcing that Sky would no longer be posting content on Sky Does Minecraft and focusing primarily on producing music from the 6th of July 2017. I've made a new channel. I'm going to be dropping music on there because music has been my new passion for quite a bit of time now. And unlike a year previous, this time it was for real. He went totally quiet on the Minecraft front and began posting music beginning in July 2017. However, Sky was still having major personal problems, mainly relating to his relationship. In September 2017, Sky came on Drama Alert to talk about the personal issues he was having, mainly relating to the custody of his son. Sky basically had a full-blown mental breakdown, an indicator of where his head was at by late 2017. I'm not gonna let this shit happen to me because because if I don't disprove this, then I'm leaving a f***ed up legacy for my son. And I'm not gonna let that f***ing happen. Like, this, this may be jokes to you, JJ, but this is my son. This is my legacy. This is my family. 
following this, on the 31st of December 2017, Sky announced that he will be deleting all of the videos from his channel on the 1st of January 2018. If you can't tell by the title of the video, I'm deleting Sky Does Minecraft. On the 2nd of January 2018, Sky unlisted all of the videos on the Sky Does Minecraft channel, a move that's still not fully understood by a lot of the people to this day. Perhaps it was because he wanted to move on and not be associated with a younger audience as he was becoming a music artist. Regardless, less than a month later, on the 30th of January 2018, Sky uploaded a video titled Minecraft? Question mark, where Sky announced that he would be making Minecraft videos again. All of the unlisted videos were reposted on the same day, only 28 days after unlisting them. Perhaps it was because Sky's music wasn't as successful as he might have hoped. His bar was set extremely high considering his previous success on YouTube, so it would have been hard to match his original expectations. Regardless, Sky came back to uploading Minecraft content, but as mentioned previously, the damage was already done. His subscribers were already dropping, his reputation was shot following the public drama with his ex-girlfriend Alyssa. His subscribers had figured out that he had an absolute train wreck of a personal life and wasn't really that fun Minecraft guy that was portrayed in his videos. The goodwill of the channel was in absolute tatters. He continued to post Minecraft on the channel but by 2019 wasn't even cracking 100,000 views. He had shown his subscribers that he probably wasn't in a position with his mental health to regrow the channel like he did in his early days of YouTube. He had shown his viewers his true colours, which in many cases can help a creator but it seemed to have the opposite effect for Sky. 2019 proceeded and he basically did the same video style that he had done for the years previously, just with 50,000 views per video instead of 5 million. On the 28th of November 2019, Sky uploaded a video titled My Channel Dead, basically updating his fans on where he was at and acknowledging his extreme drop in views. But to be honest, this video was just another beg for people to share the videos, comment and turn on the bell. A tiny part of the video was just saying new videos coming soon, which would be expected anyway. Then two straight minutes of just asking people to like, comment, turn on notifications, tell their friends, anything to try and save his rapidly dying channel as well as an indication of Sky's lack of confidence in the future of his channel. Then more recently, Sky has just continued to upload Minecraft for often less than 50,000 views as well as uploading low effort quick uploads like reacting to my old videos, hoping to salvage a few more clicks before his channel completely disintegrates into nothing. A very sad, possibly irreparable sign of the times for Sky does Minecraft. So then it creates the closing argument. What bought Sky Does Minecraft Undone? What caused the downfall? How can a creator possibly go from the second most subscribed gamer behind PewDiePie to someone barely able to pull 30,000 views by 2020? Well, if we look at from his peak to now, it seems as though most of it relates to the drama between Sky and his girlfriend, as well as a drop in the popularity of Minecraft. Minecraft was failing, his views were failing, his subscribers were failing, his channel was failing. There was serious need for innovation on Sky's channel by 2016, but instead of innovating with his channel, he kind of got caught up in all the drama between his ex-girlfriend and personal life. He decided to take the route of trying to get his son back instead of focusing on his channel, which is completely understandable. I think he should value his own son more than a YouTube channel, of course. However, why did this have to be a choice between the YouTube channel and his son? Why did he make all of this public? Why was this done via Twitter? Destroying his YouTube channel was done in the process of getting his son back, but why couldn't he just have continued posting videos and sorted out the personal problems in private? He also blames Alyssa for losing brand deals over public Twitter fights, but he was just as involved as she was. In fact, Sky started them. Well, then it creates another question. Is it worth destroying a 12 million subscriber YouTube channel making well over seven figures in order to intend tangibly get back at someone publicly over Twitter? Sky seemed to think so, but regardless, that's not what Sky will be remembered for by many people. Sky will be remembered for making people laugh in Minecraft. When they think of their childhood, they'll think of Sky. That's a legacy, a legacy that should be left behind. So regardless of whatever has happened in Sky's personal life, thanks for all the memories, man. Best of luck for whatever you might have planned in your future. And from all of us, thank you. We hope you find the peace within your personal life that you've always desired.